Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for sodium phosphate plus zinc acetate. And sometimes you'll see this acetate ion right here. This is the acetate ion written like this. It's the same thing. The atoms are just rearranged a little bit differently. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This up here is the molecular equation. I found it easier to start balancing the zincs first, just a little bit quicker. So if we have three zincs here and one here, let's put a three in front of the zinc acetate. Now we have the two acetate ions times three. So we have six of these acetate ions. We'll have to put a six in front of the sodium acetate. Six sodiums, put a two here. Those are balanced. Two phosphates here, two phosphates here, and we're done. This is the balanced molecular equation. It would work out if we started with the sodiums. It just would take a little bit longer. Now we can write the state for each substance. This looks like this. So compounds with sodium in them are very soluble, and compounds with the acetate ion are also very soluble. So these three compounds here, they will all dissolve and dissociate into their ions. The phosphate, in general, phosphates are insoluble, with the exception of some group 1 elements like sodium and potassium, for instance. So this is insoluble, and what that means is it's going to be a solid fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. And you'll note that we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so the zinc phosphate, that stays together. Now that we have our complete ionic equation, we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I can see in the reactants, I have these six sodium ions right here. In the products, I have six sodium ions. They haven't changed. Let's cross those out. Then I have six acetate ions here and here. So they haven't changed. Cross those out. What's left is the net ionic equation for sodium phosphate plus zinc acetate. I'll clean it up write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation. You note charge is conserved. We have 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus, 2 times 3 minus, 6 minus. So charge balances out here to 0, over here neutral compound. So charge is conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus ZnC2H3O2-2 sodium phosphate plus zinc acetate. Thanks for watching.